Everybody who rides, rides for a different reason. For some it's to escape the past, for some it's to live in the moment, for others it's to make friends and to start life all over. But one thing's in common, we all feel the world around us. We're not just watching it through glass. We feel the moisture build on us when it starts to rain. We feel the bite of the brutal cold. And we feel the warmth of the desert sun. When we stop and get off those bikes, we all become one. We're a family. We're a biker family. My dog Scooter and I live for the open road. I build motorcycles. I break world records. Philanthropy is my passion. On my mission to hit every Harley Davidson dealership in America, I had to blow through town so fast. I realized how many amazing bikers are out there, and these stories need to be told. I'm Adam Sandoval, and this is Kickstands Up. hip group of biker ladies who stick together uh, from everything I can see online. Uh, what they bring to the table is high energy, fashion, uh, rad bikes, and just individual style. going to be here today and I am actually so pumped up I feel like I just got off of my pre-workout. The famous leaders man check it out and you, you don't disappoint either you look the part this is awesome. Thank you first of all for giving up your weekend to show me around uh, your backyard. I do a lot of YouTube stuff and I of course, I'm on Instagram all the time, and that's how I saw Adam. And I, I mean, I've, I barely heard of him, actually. It's more, he has Scooter. That's my favorite. Everybody knows who Scooter is. <laughs> all right, Adam, I want to meet Scooter. <laughs> Where's Scooter? Well, I'm getting his pet pal set up right now. As soon as I get this set up, he'll be here riding with us. He's going to ride with us all day. Are you familiar Wait, with pet palace? Okay, this is his pet palace? This is his pet palace. That's sweet. It's oh my, my God. It's my Kiryakin. When I go to meet people, I go to hug them and they look straight to my feet because I'm always rolling with my dog Draco. Oh yeah? Yeah, what I kind got of a dog chihuahua as well. White chihuahua, Draco Malfoy. Okay. He has the goggles and everything. How old is Draco? He's six years old. Six years old? And he you... goes, he sits in my backpack. And like, I, this is like, I've never seen anything like this before. Oh man, it's great. This thing uh, you can put on back seat. It straps on a bunch of different ways. It's, it's really cool. You think you could use something like this for Draco? Yeah, especially with a windscreen. That's <laughs> insane. That's awesome. I'll tell you what. Um, I am uh, filming here in LA for a couple more weeks, but okay. when I'm when I'm done, I will uh, I'll give this to you. What? Would Draco like that? Really? Yeah. Oh my gosh, he'd be so stoked. All I ask is for ah. Oh my gosh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Today should be a great day. We're going to be putting down some miles. It's not going to be a short trip today, but we're going to run uh, all the way through to Joshua Tree, which is really exciting for me because in my travels, I made a point to hit as many national parks as I could. And I think I hit about 98% of them. But Joshua Tree happens to be one of those parks I've never hit. Ready to roll? Let's roll. to have a clean windshield, man. He likes to blow all over it when we're riding sniff in the air. All right, buddy. Scooter is so adorable. And Adam, he's super genuine. I didn't expect to just have it so personable, and he just felt like, like one of our friends right there mixed in with the leaders.
the ride itself was pretty was pretty rad because we cut through the traffic. The next thing you know, we're rolling, and all of a sudden mountains start to appear left and right. It, it was it was great. And, you know, there was a few mishaps. I think there was you know some chaps falling off, and you know I had to help out with some repairs with my zip strips. This is how we're gonna fix it. I got this bike about two years ago. It had two, three thousand miles when I got it. Now I'm like up to like over thirty thousand miles on it. It's just an amazing bike. I, it's, it's the extension of my soul. <laughs> I love this bike. This country is so beautiful. So much to see. So many different foods, climates, and amazing people. I would never experience this kind of camaraderie if I wasn't riding a motorcycle. Like, riding has changed my life so much. We rode through some um, cold weather towards the end of the ride, and we just couldn't wait to get there to the final destination. You gotta figure all these girls were riding no windshields, and windshield is a big deal. And these girls were banging out on Sportsters, which are fun bikes, but you gotta have grit if you're gonna ride a Sportster. Uh, for a trip like this, and, and they, they, they pulled it off, no problem. in a pack. Although they're a member of a group, they're individuals. They each have their own story. They each rock their own style. Um, they're not trying to be the same. They're not trying to be identified together. They're individuals who share a passion. There was no need to try to fit in. Just be yourself and you already fit in. For the ride today. I think we're gonna go to your favorite Joshua Tree. Everybody's like, you gotta go to Joshua Tree. Yeah. Just you know, never... that's where they hold babes right out. I know. All those ladies. We're very fond of it. I bet. It's like our it's like our love fest. Yeah. So today we're going out to Joshua Tree, 29 Palms area. I love that ride because it takes me back to Babes Ride Out, which I did last year for the first time. So you've all been to Joshua Tree before? I'm the only one that has not. All right, man, well, let's helmet up and roll up. Head to Joshua Tree. What? So, Christina? Yeah. I, uh, I was really inspired last night to find out that you're a fairly new rider and you make all these friends with the leaders and the leaders are a very uh, influential group. Right. And, and you're part of that. So I know that somewhere you've got some other friends who probably want to get into the motorcycle culture. So what I did is I talked to Harley Davidson and what we're gonna do is I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna give you a free pass to help one of your friends get their license. Oh, wow. So you can put somebody through the course, someone that you want to ride with you and can maybe share some miles with you on the road and hopefully inspire uh, maybe even another leader. <laughs> this has been a great trip riding with the leaders for me. It's something I've been wanting to do since I've been following y'all on Instagram. Oh. So tell me like uh, about the leaders. Tell the people about the leaders. What are the leaders' goals as a group? Like what do you try to focus on and what do you stand for? Um, I think for me, it, it's a little different for everybody, but for me, it was to make friendships and to bond with women and to ride. 
safely ride with other women because it's funner to ride in a group. It's funner to ride with your girlfriend. It's funner to go to coffee with your girlfriend on your motorcycle. For sure. That's how we like to roll. You, you brought me to this beautiful Joshua tree. Yeah. Um, always wanted to go here. Always wanted to ride with Alita. So I think I knocked off two bucket lists that's amazing. on this trip. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, not a lot of men get to say that. I know they don't. Right? So uh, sorry, fellas. You can't come no. to Babe's Ride Out. All uh. you can do is do what I've been doing for the last couple years. <laughs> and that's watch it from Instagram. Watch it from Facebook. <laughs> Uh, be like, man, these girls know what they're doing. Oh, that's good to uh, hear. Yeah, that's good to hear. I mean, it's it's inspirational. Thank I, you. I watch online. I'm like, dude, that looks like so much fun. You know, it is a love fest. Like you can't imagine. I couldn't imagine when I went. It's another way to get excited and share time with women on motorcycles. This last year, they rented out an entire campground. The entire thing. There was something like 1,800 women that came from all over. Some women flew in, rented bikes. I have new friends from all over now. I think everybody I talk to on the road, the vast majority of male motorcycle riders are all about supporting oh. the women riders. Oh, we we want you around and frankly, you know, I, uh, I've traveled this country coast to coast six times and on a motorcycle and some of my best miles shared were with women riders. So, and uh, you all just reinforced that again these last two days. Thank you so much, Lita's. Oh, thank you. You all rock. You rock. <laughs>